there's a person. Four people, actually. Hey guys, so we're back for live 2.0 to finish uh, cooking the mini stuffed peppers. If you are watching this one, make sure you click back and um, watch the first live where I show you the whole process of how to make these stuffed peppers and everything that goes into it. Um, I don't have a crock pot, so probably, but it'll probably take a couple hours. I have a feeling this is gonna take about 15 minutes in an instant pot. Or you could totally make it in like a pot like this and it'll maybe take like an hour. I don't know, just like when the meat is cooked and the uh, peppers are uh, fork tender. But don't quote me on how long that will cook because I'm only making it in the Instant Pot this time. Because you guys have requested that I do more Instant Pot recipes, I'm trying to get things tested and tried and all that stuff for you, so. Well, what happened to the music? Um, well, we can't do music in here because Instagram kicked me off yesterday. For, wait, for playing music? Yeah. Because it said that I didn't have copyright to the music that I was playing, which was dumb. Okay, so let me go show you what I did in the last part of live actually need more salt so i'm going to bring you guys over i sauteed one large onion in an instant pot and about three cloves of garlic chopped that up sauteed that with a little olive oil on a saute mode are we still on a saute mode there you go we're on a saute mode and then i actually ended up adding two of these uh, Lucini rustic tomato basil sauces. You could totally use whatever um, tomato basil sauce you have. I just wanted to add a little bit more um, flavor and my own spin on this. So I added the onion and the garlic. And I add a little bit more because it needs a little bit more seasoning. I'm gonna throw in a bay leaf and then we're gonna start adding in the peppers. So. It smells delicious in here. And the great thing is, um, if you're doing keto like me, make sure you pay attention to the tomato sauce that you use, that it has no sugar in it. So this one doesn't have sugar. I'm gonna move you guys this way. Grab my, grab a couple of bay leaves, cause I'll add like a good flavor to this. And then let's start putting in the peppers. And Nikita can be my camera guy. Could you pick that up? There's no be too, no, right here. We're trying to show them this, not me. And then if you see questions, just say them out loud. Okay, so we prepped our peppers. Um, I stuffed them. Um, if you wanna see the process, watch the first live. And now we're just going to gently submerge the peppers. I'm going to start with the larger ones and kind of go in a circle. You just want them to be covered in the tomato sauce. Uh, somebody asked what type of flowers you have. What type of flowers? Yeah. Um, oh, you mean plants. I'll, yeah, I'll show you guys the plants. I have no idea what the names are, but I can show you visually for sure. So I like my peppers extra saucy because that's my personality. So we definitely have more sauce than maybe some people like to use, but I feel like the peppers just need to be submerged in um, the sauce because they just will absorb all that goodness. Almost done. And if the little ones kind of double up, that's totally fine. Let's try to get the, oh, that was hot. Let's try to get this stuffed as much as possible. And I'm just gonna kind of put the little baby ones mm -hmm. where I can. Okay, mama, I'm gonna talk. Okay. Cause somebody asked me a question. Okay. Um, school is going good. Okay, <laughs> that's all you're gonna say? All right, so let's see. 
this a little bit closer. I'm gonna grab a spoon really quick and I'm just going to press down. Here, let me see this baby. I'm just gonna, here, give me this please. I'm gonna press these down so they're submerged in the sauce fully. And then we're gonna start with, let's, let's do like, I feel like they could be ready even in like, let's start with 10 minutes. And the great thing is if you are gonna be using your Instant Pot, put turn it on on the saute mode because then it will help the pressure go up a lot faster when you're using the Instant Pot. So I'm just gonna close the lid, make sure it's on uh, steep, or what is it, um, seal, which is towards the back. Uh, your little topper thing might look a little bit different. So I'm gonna actually now, can you, can you right here, Nikita, if you're gonna be cameraman, you gotta pay attention. I'm gonna do manual, so stop, manual, and let's do, let's do 15 minutes because I'd rather make sure. So we just do 15 minutes and it's on high pressure. We're gonna leave this guy alone and then we're gonna do a quick release and check on the pepper. Okay, okay. I have to plug in my phone before it dies. Oh, okay, let's see. People are asking you questions. There you go, let's see, where do you? Oh, is um, dolma, is that with, is that with peppers or is that with uh, uh, the grape leaves? Because I thought dolma was um, grape leaves. No, so the pepper filling is completely raw. Um, and if you, uh, Kira Mac, um, if you want to uh, watch me make these from scratch, um, watch the first live, this is the second live. Uh, we are just um, doing the final cooking part in the second live and then we can kind of spend time, you guys can ask me questions. Um, actually, I might make like a quick soup with the leftover uh, stuffing that I have. Um, I have some dried mushrooms, I have an onion, I have garlic. Um, I have dried mushrooms from, uh, let's see, from Ukraine that my parents brought back when they went, and they are porcini mushrooms. So I feel like it would be kind of good in here. So, oh, and I have some cabbage. Actually, I can use that too. Um, no. No, I'm not going to do cabbage because that's going to be weird. So I'm going to use some mushrooms and oh my gosh, this smells so good. These are like hand-picked by grandma from the forest. Some porcini mushrooms that my mom brought, brought back from Ukraine. So I think I'm going to like quickly throw together a quick soup. Soup? Yeah, we have time. I want to make a quick soup, like a small pot of soup. Uh, mushroom and then like turkey meatballs kind of soup. So let's see. Okay, sounds good, kiddo. Uh, you can get, I don't, I've never made them, but you could totally do, uh, you can get grape leaves, I mean, anybody who's growing grapes. But you want ones that are young, I think. That's from what I've heard from my friend who is Lebanese. She does like grape leaf stuff. Okay, I'm gonna clean up a little bit because it's driving me crazy. And I might use the cauliflower rice that I made in the first, um, uh, in the first live. Um, I don't know, they just have like a suitcase almost full of these mushrooms. Um, let's see, I'm gonna get a smaller pot. Nikita, извини, пожалуйста. I'm looking forward to having this yummy soup tomorrow. Haven't made soup in a while. 
Let me get clean board. Let's have another cutting board. And then let's grab an onion. have an onion I have some garlic I'm actually going to use some of the cauliflower rice um, and I'm gonna grate the rest so I'm not getting anything dirty um, let me see my sorry guys could you turn on the if turn on the computer it'll open with hold on one second guys I'm gonna turn on the music in the background that's not very loud because I don't want Instagram to kick me off live here Okay, so let's grab the knife and hopefully we can throw together a really quick soup while I'm making the peppers. So I'm gonna start with an onion. I don't have any carrots or I would have added a carrot. I do have some celery, but I'm not like a big celery person in my um, soup. Celery inside the bush. I know, but I'm not like a big fan of celery in my soup, so I don't usually add it. But I might add like a tiny bit because it'll add that flavor. Okay, I'm just gonna chop up this onion super finely. Mama? Yeah, baby. Could I watch something for 15 minutes? Mm, no, you're gonna watch This Is Us or are you gonna go to bed? So I'm just cutting my onion really quick. Am I doing for 10 minutes? Um, no. What are the are the girls still playing? Yes. Okay, why don't you go play with them? I don't want to play with okay, them. Okay, then you can just wait until we watch something together. Okay, you can go read. Do your do your extra reading today. Because is is your is your uh, dance tomorrow or next Friday? I mean next Thursday. It's. I mean, is it this Thursday? Yes. I just thought it was a pledge. Because the onions. Oh, I was like, the pledge is supposed to be on the Okay. Okay. So this this Thursday or next? This Thursday. Okay, so how about you read a little extra that way you don't have to read because Thursday is going to be a little bit crazy. I would love my extra reading. Okay, we'll do a little extra reading. It's always good to practice. Or you can go practice uh, typing a little bit more. Yeah, I can't unpause my thing right now. So I can't do my typing. Well, why don't you try? Oh, sorry guys, let's see. <laughs> I'm not that strict of a mom. <laughs> right? <laughs> Nikita's like, right. Okay, so I have some. Yeah. She should turn the camera. Okay, then you can just be patient, sweetheart. Um, the tome is actually not my recipe, it's my friend Cosette's recipe. I can do, so, um, uh, you can go to my blog, lenaskitchenblog.com, and um, the tomato tart, just like in the search, you can do tomato tart. Um, under that recipe, if you scroll down, it says Cosette's uh, uh, tome recipe in that recipe. Yes, that sounds very confusing. Just search tomato tart on my blog. Oh, here. I should type in what I'm making so that way you guys can see. Uh, turkey stuffed mini bell peppers in instant pot and that's keto and now I'm making a quick soup because we have time to wait for ah, come on. whoops that's not what I wanted <laughs> Jeez, hi, hi, how do I do this? What? Oh, there you go. Sorry, <laughs> technical difficulties. My hair's looking a little crazy. 
Come on. I'm trying to pin my... Oh my God, annoying. You get to the telephone. Положи телефон обратно, пожалуйста. Okay, whatever. It's not letting me pin this. I'm just gonna ignore Instagram. It's driving me crazy. I'm gonna saute the onion. Should be hot enough. Turn that way down. I'm not burning my onion. Turn on the fan a little bit. Yes, Nikita. I would. I'll make you a deal. Oh, okay. What kind of deal? Let's see if it's deal or no deal. Uh, How about people on Instagram will vote on the deal with me? No. No, just me. Okay. Then, I put the fan on. <laughs> I. Because then they'll just always vote for you. No, you never know. So uh, while I have time uh, waiting for the Instant Pot to cook the stuffed peppers, um, I decided to use up the turkey and cauliflower um, mushroom goodness and make little meatballs, but I'm not gonna make like shaped meatballs. I'm just gonna like squirt them out of this bag. Um, and then I have some porcini mushrooms that my parents brought back from Ukraine. And I'm just gonna throw it all together and make a soup. We'll see, we'll see what we get. So sauteing some onions with a little olive oil, and then I'm gonna grab a couple cloves of garlic. Chop that up too. And then I'm gonna use like the inside of celery because I don't really like super strong celery flavor. Oh mama, my idea yes, is babies. that when I wake up tomorrow, uh -huh. since it's late start, uh -huh. I will, after I'm done like getting my stuff ready, and eating breakfast, mm -hmm. getting my lunch. Well, getting the, um, once you get my lunch ready, I will read until we have to leave. Um, do you have Do you have the walk run tomorrow, like Chekha? Mm -hmm. You do. Then how about you walk You walk with Chekha and I, and I'm gonna drop you off uh, a little bit earlier. Okay. Well, actually, no. That's gonna be too early. Well, we can we can do a little walk by ourselves. Okay. Okay. And until we have to leave, or you could drop off. You could walk with Chaka, and then mm -hmm. come back. I read uh, while I'm reading and mm -hmm. eating breakfast. And then once we leave, after okay, and then all that. But if I read until we have to leave, could I walk? The thing some? is, I can't walk you to school tomorrow because I have an appointment at 10 a.m. And there's going to be no way that I'll be able to make it back in time. And then drive. Drop me off at like nine twenty. That's a little too early. Where? What are you gonna be doing? Well, for that whole time, for forty minutes. I don't know. You don't know. Just making sure this thing is on. So right now the pressure cooker is heating up. Uh, I will add some. Dill, actually, not a big parsley. Um, so you could totally watch the first live. I saved it, so don't fret. Okay, I'm gonna add the garlic now. So I'm making two things because I had some of the stuffing left over. So I'm just making like a quick keto soup. That's uh, using some mushrooms. Um, I'm cooking the peppers for, I'm trying 15 minutes in the Instant Pot. So I'm cutting this celery up very, very finely because I just don't like celery in my soup. So I want it to be almost invisible. So I'm cutting into very, very, very thin strips. And I'm gonna chop it. 
So I just have like a celery stick like this. Um, and then I'm just literally going to chop this like super finely. It'll add the flavor, but I'm not gonna be like biting into a big thing of celery. I like do not like minestrone soup because it has like the celery and the carrots. Ooh, not my thing. Okay, so that's your eyesight. <laughs> my eyesight sucks already, so it ain't gonna make it better. No, it's too late, baby. I'm a lost cause for the eyesight. Okay. Move this around. Don't want this burning. So I just did one onion, a couple cloves of garlic, and one small celery stick. Ow! Whew, whew. That's, what? That was really hot. A hot piece of uh, onion. Okay. I'm gonna add some salt. Move this around. Add a little bit more olive oil. Um, if you get, when you get, oh, for those of you joining in who did not join the first live, let me know where you guys are joining in from and what did you guys do for dinner today? And did you watch uh, the first live? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Nikita. I love that you do these lives. Thank you for all ideas. Oh, you're welcome. My deal is that you heard the, my part and then your part is that I can watch something and the, this is us. Okay, you can have 15 minutes. I thought I was asking for it. No. No, I said I'm going to think about it. I didn't say no. I said I'm going to think about it. Okay. Good night, Vera. Oh, you're watching the, okay, you watched the first live. Awesome. Okay, so I have some dried porcini mushrooms. You could totally use any kind of dried mushrooms. Um, Что? Yeah. Oh, Maddie? I don't, I don't know. Here, Maddie. See if she'll like it. Um, <laughs> go watch her, see if she'll eat it. So you could totally use raw mushrooms or you can use dried mushrooms. Um, if you do dried mushrooms, do like a blend. That would be really good. I just have these uh, porcini mushrooms. Did she eat it? So I just added, I'm doing the porcini mushrooms and I'm using up the leftover turkey stuffing that I use for the peppers and I'm making a quick soup. Okay, yes, sorry. If I'm using dill, then why add celery? Um, celery, usually you do the celery, onion, garlic, and um, uh, whatchamacallit. Yep, she and, likes it. She likes so it. you do celery, onion, and I'm blanking out. And carrot as like a beginning for soup, like a starter for soup. It just adds that, you know, the soup kind of whatever. I don't know what, it, there's like a word for it. I can't remember. But it gives you that base of the soup. Not mise en place. Maybe it's, no, not mise en place. Mise en place is when you prep stuff. I'm just cutting up these mushrooms um, a little bit smaller. Whoops. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of like the starter. Um, and then the dill is like your finishing. So the heartier things, start aromatics, thank you. Mirepoix, thank you. I was like, not mise en place. Just could not remember it. So before I add any kind of stock or anything to this, which I'm going to add some chicken stock. Um, I wanted to bring out, oh my gosh, if you can smell the flavor of these porcini mushrooms, whoo, might add a little bit more. Um, I wanted to kind of um, bring out the flavors uh, by sauteing them in the olive oil and then bringing them back to life a little bit. I'll turn up the heat a little bit. I'm gonna show you what it looks like really quick. Sofritos, merci. So this is what I have so far. Well, that lighting is sucking. Thank you, Lily Sofrito. 
or mirepoix, whichever mirepoix. Okay, I'm gonna add in some thyme. I've got time for that. I got some fresh thyme, because that's gonna add, I'm just gonna do a few scrapes. So some fresh thyme, and I'll remove that after. Let's do like this much, because thymes and mushrooms are amazing together. So let's add that in. And add a bay leaf too, because bay leaves work really well with soups. Um, if you've never tried adding bay leaves to your, um, whatchamacallit, you know, beef broth, oh, I guess we'll use beef stock, because I got some of that and we'll use it up. Yeah, mushrooms and thyme, like, perfect combo together, and I think the beef broth will be really delicious. So I'm going to add in a little bit and then let this kind of, woo, it smells divine. And let's add a little bit more. Mom, is yes. there any other devices that um, like, are not shut down? Yeah, because your computer shut okay. down. Okay, well, I guess it'll just, have to, it'll just have to be, you'll have to wait or for it. Or I can text Shay Shay to unpause your computer. This computer is unpaused? Yeah, but I'm that listening to music on here. No, I could text him through that computer. No, honey, I think let's just wait, okay? Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna bring this to a boil. And when this starts boiling, I'm going to add in the meatballs. I feel like I need another carton. chicken stock for sure somewhere in here where's my chicken stock adding miso would be really weird okay I guess I guess we'll just add some water I thought I had chicken stock let me check in here I guess we'll just add water. That's fine. I'm going to use this jar and add about a jar full of water. Because we already have the flavors from the stock and the mushrooms. And then we'll just adjust seasoning. This is going to be so delicious. Let's not do that here, please. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't it cute? I love this color. This company actually um, has a pink one, which I really want, but this was gifted to me. Oh, it smells amazing. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's yep, it see. It smells amazing. I know. I wish we had smell a vision. Come on. What's in the pot um, I'm making here, I'll show you. Making some soup with, uh, I was, well actually, in the Instant Pot we have six more minutes, we'll check the stuffed mini bell peppers that have been cooking in there. And then I had some leftover turkey, cauliflower, mushroom um, stuffing um, that I'm making for keto and I decided to make some mushroom soup with the uh, uh, meatballs and show you guys how you can do meatballs that are super easy way and you're like not even really touching the meat. So, and then in there I have, um, in the pot I did um, one onion, like a small celery stick, a couple cloves of garlic, some fresh chime, some uh, fresh, uh, some bay, okay, dried bay leaf. And then, let's see, I need a spoon to taste this. Um, and I added some dried porcini mushrooms because that's what I have at home. Um, these my parents brought back from Ukraine. Okay, I need salt. 
Oh, show. Oh, I need Ooh, I just got a new, new thing of salt. I'm gonna add some salt. I'm trying to do this quick and then check in with you guys. But you, other people, if you're just joining in, other people can kind of answer questions. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah, use gloves if you want. I don't mind it. Um, but look at this. I'm going to show you how to make meatballs, kind of meat, not, not perfect meatballs, but look at this. I put my stuffing um, that I use for the bell peppers and I stuff these by like adding a little hole in the corner. Um, and then yes, manual. Yeah, we got four minutes left in the Instant Pot. So I stuffed the peppers like this and I had all this left over and decided I'm gonna make some meatballs. Three. What, three? Yep. So let's see, I'm gonna raise you guys up on this guy and go like this so you can watch what I'm doing and how easy it is to make like, kind of like little meatballs. So this has been cooking for a few minutes. Um, it's boiling already. I'm gonna actually turn down the heat so I don't burn myself because my thing is so powerful. So what you're gonna do is this. You're just going to squeeze and cut, squeeze and cut these little like meatball kind of kind of sausage do you want to help me cut this me yeah i'll i'll squeeze it and you help me cut do you want a knife or you want a spoon spoon okay so go ahead so it's great if you have a helper like this And this should take like a few minutes to cook and it should be ready. Okay, you're kind of hiding all the view for people. So, mm. yeah, meat, meatball dollops. There you go. Okay. Hi. Check out. No, thank you. Let's kind of move this around. Move this around a little bit. Bye-bye. It's, like it's like a production, like a sausage production. Is it really hot? Let me turn this yeah. down. Okay. So by the time the um, peppers will be done, we'll make a soup. <laughs> Rapid. Rap, rapid, rapid meatball make. Ah, oh, no, you no, no, thank you. That's too much. That you're now making a mess. Now let's move this around. <coughs> you guys, this smells so good. Okay. Nah. Dizzy. Hold on. Let me just. There's no My more eyes. onions. Oh, right here. I'll move this out of the way. Okay, we got one more minute left, but that's okay. We can kind of let the peppers sit in the instant pot while we finish our meatball sticks bombs whatever you want to call them okay bye, -bye. and then this way you don't get your hands dirty and kids can help let's add some in here and i'm going to bring this back to a boil and then cook it for about i don't know five ten probably ten minutes let the flavors do their thing together the way almost done don't splash so much the way okay the way almost done Ugh, okay We got Last a cup, couple more in here. Eh, let's do that. That's fine. There you go. This goes to trash. 
look at that. No hands dirty, okay. Let me show you a little bit. Well, my phone's gonna fall into the soup. That's not gonna be good. So there's, look at these little meatballs. It smells so good. And because this is turkey, it's gonna cook pretty fast. But I want these mushrooms to continue cooking. So I'm just gonna turn up the heat to about medium, cover the lid, and then let's go check on. Yeah, totally. I mean, I don't mind touching meat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have the Instant Pot, it was going for 15 minutes and then it kind of did its thing for about a minute. I'm actually gonna rotate this because I don't want it to hit my plant. And then I'm gonna do the quick release and let it do its thing. I mean, <laughs> if you don't like touching meat. Yes, I'm gonna add the leftover cauliflower rice literally right when it's done because it's so finely chopped that it's gonna overcook if I add it right now. So I literally, I'll turn it off, I'll add the cauliflower rice, and I let it sit for a few minutes, and then it's ready. And I think it's gonna be so delicious. I, I might have to have like a bowl of both for dinner today because 7.43, we have an hour and 15 minutes until this is us, our time starts. I'm so excited. If you watched it, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't ruin it for me. <laughs> My cousin. <gasps> okay, yeah, that's bad. I mean, my dad owns a sausage company. You kind of have to get used to, I'm not, I'm gonna be appropriate playing with meat. <laughs> it was awesome uh yeah i cry every single episode so you know i am so excited i think i think the peppers will be ready in 15 minutes thank you for doing these lives i really appreciate them oh thank you diana I mean, I hope you guys take away something you learn every time I do a live because a lot of these are just kind of, I'm just making it and showing you how easy it is just to um, make something out of the blue, like, and how my thought process goes about when I'm creating a recipe. Yes, I'm watching it later. So it doesn't play until nine o'clock here at 7.45 right now. So we are eating dinner a little bit late because I started a little bit later. Oh, it smells so good in here. Mom, when you think the live's gonna be over? When we're, when I plate everything and we're ready to, do you wanna get me a bowl, three bowls out, please? I thought Shay Shay was eating with us. No, Shay Shay's out for guys time. Okay, so I don't have any sour cream, but I do have this, um, Yogurt. Oh my God. Cannot speak. Oh, released. Okay. Yeah, right? I mean, I want I want to eat good when I'm eating something on a diet. I, like, I don't want it to feel like a diet. So, this is something that's like always challenging for self. When I do Whole30, when I do Keto, whatever, like, or whatever I'm doing, eliminating something. I don't want to eliminate flavor. I want to infused flavor and make it fun and make it easy and show you how easy it is to do a diet lifestyle change whatever so you could take these basics and like with the stuffed peppers you could use whatever meat you like i mean i feel like turkey obviously a lot better for you um and i prefer turkey with the stuffed peppers um and then i mean if you're not doing keto do some rice it's fine do quinoa if you don't want rice um I did the cauliflower rice and I did that myself. So, so it's so easy to just take what I'm teaching you and kind of turn it into your own thing. So let's check these peppers. Oh my gosh. It's, oh my God, Becky, look at that butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. I got these peppers and I cannot deny 
Ooh, oh. <laughs> okay, well, the pressure released the peppers from their stuffing, some of them, but um, I'm going to take the biggest one and let's go cut into it. Can you just put that right here, Nikita? Sorry, guys, one second. <laughs> Whoa! I have a chest for you, not big butts. <laughs> All right, let's do a little test, taste test. Ah. And we're gonna add yogurt because I don't have any sour cream. But okay, the peppers feel nice and soft and not too soft. Ooh. Now we're gonna take some yogurt. I'm gonna let that cool a little bit. Nikki, that you want to sample too? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. This smells amazing. I'm gonna show you guys a little sample. Look at that. It's not like too soft. It's perfectly soft. I think even like 15, 10 minutes would have been fine. Um. <laughs> oh, MG. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tell me if it's hot or not. Mm. Mm. Hot? Oh, hot. You need some milk. That is so good. No, I don't. That is so good, you guys. I mean, success, like 100%. I definitely need a little bit more salt, but I'm fine not to add it right now because the longer it stays, the flavors are going to infuse. Okay. Soup is done. Since soup is done, I'm not going to waste this cauliflower rice. We're just gonna add in the cauliflower rice in here. Mix this around. So look at this, we made soup and, sorry, soup and stuffed peppers. And not, not slap minutes, hot. <laughs> Sarah, I told you, it come over, hot. girl. It is very hot. Um, you know what? Why do my kids eat what I make? Nikita, why do you eat what I make? Ask him. I mean, they've been eating what I make since they could eat. Um, because food. we can't. Because we don't eat anything else. Because we don't. Do eat. you like my food? Yes. We like it, and there's no really other choice. There you go. They can either starve or eat what I give them. I'd rather eat. Unless it feels pumpkins or... So because I'm doing Whole30, David, David Kulichka, um, I can't have any rice. So I did cauliflower rice. And I added mushrooms in there and a bunch of spinach, uh, green onion, some garlic, and turkey. And then I stuffed them with a Ziploc bag. So, I think I might want to do like a little bowl of each. Hey, Mama, so, can I show you a life hack? Well, let them starve for a couple days and they'll think your food is amazing after. <laughs> so, I mean, I, it's Greek yogurt and it's really thick. I actually, I think it's better for you than sour cream and we don't eat sour cream often in this household so no. you'll find Greek yogurt more than sour cream. Yes, Sinchka. My battery is about to die. Let's see. You did brown rice before? Um, you could totally do brown rice. I mean, you could do quinoa, you can do brown rice, you can, but brown rice cooks longer so I would say I would not do that. No, put that back in. If you break, if you, uh, if that, if you do anything with that, say goodbye to your phone. It's going in the trash. 
Yeah, hunger is the best chef. There you go. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm gonna try the soup. I'm gonna try the mushrooms to see if they... Ooh, that's good. Ooh, let's add some fresh herbs. I might not have dill. Oh, I do have dill. You just got dill yesterday or something. I know, but I've been using it a lot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys this trick. I don't know if you ever use it or not, but Hi if guys. you're if you don't want to use uh, a knife to chop up your where's my scissors? If you don't want to use a knife to chop up your herbs, you can take it and cut it with your kitchen shears. So I'm gonna do that. And I think I'm gonna make this creamy this soup creamy and I'm gonna add like a big heap table heaping can spoon of pork, can you make something with pork chops yeah I can do pork chops I'm not like a big pork chops person but no no no, no. what's no he doesn't uh, like pork chops so I just I want to make this soup a little bit creamy so I add a little bit of yogurt in here and this is a mushroom and turkey mushroom Meatballs, um, the Hi. meatballs I used uh, leftover stuffing from the stuffed peppers. And I didn't make it like super creamy, so look at this. Yeah, you could totally freeze dill as well after you chop it. So it's not like super creamy, but it like added just a little, little touch of creaminess because you can then adjust the seasoning. And don't forget, if you added thyme to the soup, remove the stems after and your bay leaf. Actually, I'm going to leave the bay leaf because obviously you're going to know not to put that in. And this is a dried porcini mushroom. And look at these tiny little meatballs that we made using... Oh, that does not look good. <laughs> that was very sexual. So we have tiny little meatballs and they cooked super fast and I used a Ziploc bag that I used, uh, yeah, but put it out here so it's not too hot. <sighs> Who, this one right here, this is my daughter, Francesca. Hi. My mini me. Pastav suda, pusano cool off the other chuchut. Whew. Oh, ochim vkusna. Ja, shas, slunk, tam ozhe nisho nieto. Do you want me to put these in the snack drawer? Oh my gosh, you guys. Like wild porcini mushroom and turkey mushroom meatballs with onions, a little bit of cauliflower rice, uh, beef stock, a little um, dill, a little onion, garlic, and celery, thyme, and whatchamacallit. I'm gonna add some more um, and a little bit of a, and a bay leaf. And that took us like, what, not even 15, about 15 minutes to make this soup. And it's gluten free. You can, you can avoid not adding any dairy. It can be dairy free, gluten free, but flavorful. Girl, please, let's go mushroom hunting. I want chanterelles like, what pot is that? This one right here. I'll do a link to it if you guys want after. It's a Le Creuset. That'll be our dinner for, that will be dinner tomorrow. That will be our dinner tomorrow. Thank you for the idea. What, the soup? Mm hmm And so you could totally um, go into like Trader Joe's or I know Costco sells like a big tub of um, different wild mu or mushrooms. You could totally just use that. And I use like a handful, just kind of break them up into smaller pieces, saute um, an onion, a little bit of olive oil, then a little garlic um, and celery. You can totally, I didn't have any carrot, you can shred in a carrot. And then once that sautés for a little bit, add in those mushrooms and let them kind of bring, like come back to life by adding. I found another one. Okay. Leave the bay leaf, that's, that's fine. No, I know. I'm looking for more tiny leaves. That's enough. That there is no more. 
Um, and then so add in your mushrooms because you kind of want to rehydrate them and like bring out those flavors before you add any liquid. So after a few minutes, like saute that, add in your liquid. You could totally do chicken stock. I just had beef stock that was open, needed to be used up. Um, and then, you know, season with salt. If you do pepper, do pepper. If you like some sort of seasoning, add some sort of seasoning, whatever. I didn't add anything else. I don't think it needs it. Then add your stock, bring it to a boil, add in the thyme and the bay leaf, and then plop in the little um, meat, uh, whatchamacallit, meatballs. But that was like leftover meatballs. Yes, sparkling water. This is our favorite. Pineapple, Excuse whoa. Me. Uh, this is from Fred Meyer or Kroger store. Simply, simple truth. Huh, and there's zero everything. Yes, totally. If you're gonna use fresh mushrooms, you wanna saute those before you add any um, oil. And then what you're gonna do is make sure you wipe your mushrooms, never wash your mushrooms. Wipe your mushrooms with a dry paper towel cut them into like quarters, saute them with everything, and then add the, add in your stock yeah, after a few minutes apple. after the mushrooms are sauteed. I get those from Carrots. So Ooh, yes, they're so good. They're my favorite. Okay, so we're ready to eat. Hi guys. I'm gonna use my new plate. And I'm gonna plate up my, look at this gorgeous bowl that I got today with you. This gorgeous bowl. And I'm just gonna do like a little bit of soup and then I'm gonna do a little bit of, um, so I'm gonna do stuffed peppers first and then we'll see if we want soup. Maybe I'll leave soup for tomorrow. Should we leave soup for tomorrow and just have stuffed peppers? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the floss. The floss for oh, okay, have a Okay, guys, do you ready to see me do the floss? Okay. Can you learn us some tasty recipes for kids? You mean, can I teach them? Yeah. Can, can I you? teach them? No, it says, can you learn us some tasty recipe for kids? Thanks. I mean, my kids eat everything that we eat, so I don't know what your kids eat. They look eat. like overflowing tomatoes. I'm gonna add. Add some of the sauce in a second onto your guys's. Are you pretty hungry? Um, so so. I'm starving, so because I didn't have lunch. Check on. Mm -hmm. So inappropriate. I'm gonna get a ladle really quick. Mm. Oh, so many. Uh, I really like look. Lacrosse too. Um, it's not lacrosse. It's not like croy. It's not lacroix. It's not lacroix. It's um. It's from it's simple Fred truth. Meyer. It's We're simple Kroger. truth. Um. Uh, simple truth organic pineapple sparkling water. Thank you. Sure, I'll teach you guys how to do the floss. It's really easy, actually. Um, my favorite dinner is probably my mom's lasagna that she does on birthdays. Birthday lasagna. Mm-hmm. In, in, in your opinion, which is the best restaurant in Portland? Mine, Toro Bravo, is my favorite. So, that's like a special occasion yeah. kind of restaurant for us. Um, I mean, there's so many good ones. You know what, we actually don't go out as often uh, because we don't live in Portland anymore. We live outside of Portland. So. She's asking, and why do you love it so much? Um, it has Spanish cuisine. Um, it's, so Spanish cuisine sure, is we'll one of my time favorites. Sometime. Um, excuse me, let me. Um, Sarah. Um, wants 
Vera is always happy when she gets to see me on live. So, mm. so she said we should FaceTime sometime. Yes, we are like much overdue for that. Okay, let me show you what this looks like. I'm gonna go eat. Francesca, how old are you? Nine, almost 10. So this is basically my lunch and dinner. We have the stuffed peppers with extra sauce and a little bit of, a little dollop of uh, Greek yogurt, some dill. So there you guys go. We made that. And we made some yummy mushroom soup with meatballs. So I hope you guys were inspired. You enjoyed the two lives. You got pretty much, you got two hours of live. So you get two meals in one evening. But I know we totally didn't plan on this. I just bought the shirt. Let me show you, it was so cute. Um, oh, that's really cute. So I just bought this shirt. It's like under 10 bucks at Old Navy. Let me just show you really quick. Cause it's, mine is from a different company. It's from Tuck, Tuck and Roll. Brandy. But I mean, it's like, you know, not showing all the goods. Can you see what brand it is? It's Brandy and Melville. Huh. Oh, that's that expensive company. Yeah, I got it from Amalie. What is happening with your shirt here? There's all this stuff all over it. <laughs> okay, anyways, guys. Here's meal one, and then we got the soup. I cannot wait to go eat. Thank you so much for hanging out. There are so many of you guys today. Hope you learned something. I hope that you enjoyed today, and thank you so much for being here. You guys are the best. Love you. I'm gonna save this, and you can watch the first live if you missed the um, if you missed the first live. Francesca, what are you looking. doing? You're looking. We're done. Stop. Okay. Stop. Okay. If you're gonna make your own decisions, you can't be here. Okay. Thank you. I am so hungry right now too. A little bag of seaweed. That was it. So that was my lunch. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to eat. Enjoy the scissors. I'm this so excited. One hour and then this is us. Uh, yeah. So thank you guys. Um, watch the first live if you want to watch me make the stuffed peppers from scratch. Um, and you can see all the details that I um, show you. And then watch this one. Look at this. Two hours. Almost two hours on both. Love you guys. Thank you. Have a good night. I'm going to save this one. Enjoy. This is this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, guys.